Cars are important in the Northwest. We don't, we don't like to carpool here because of our independent streak. That and it's, it's just too hard to sneak out of Boeing early without a ride. <laughs> you gotta have that. You know, we prefer our own car to the bus here because in your own car you can play your music as loud as you want. You can scream for no reason and pick your nose if you feel like it. <laughs> well, on the bus, all right, bad example. Bad example. <laughs> bad example. But I will say that cars do, this is a fact, they last longer in the Northwest because of our mild weather. And, now, and, for example, you'll see a lot of older cars in Ballard, but that, that isn't the, <laughs> it's not the reason there. It's actually those ones are still on their original drive home from the new car lot. That's why those are there. <laughs> but one thing that's true in any, any part of the country, though, is that if you really want to know about people, to get the clearest look at their personality, their hopes and fears, you look at their cars. If you want to know about people, ask them what they drive. Now, I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you, for example. I drive a Jeep. Now, what she's really saying is, I'm a career woman recently divorced trying to convince my ex-husband that I'm feeling wild and liberated and I'm driving out in the country every weekend to have sex with cowboys. That's what that is. See? Very simple. Now, like, check out this other one. I'm the proud owner of a 1974 yellow Vega. Now, he's saying, I'm still driving my high school graduation. Day. I drive a minivan. A minivan. That means I'm married with more kids than I can count and will never again in this lifetime have a woman come on to me because I'm driving her favorite car. I drive a white Volkswagen Cabriolet with a sorority bumper sticker and a license plate that says, too hot. I am a bitch. Very simple. It's very simple. That one was too easy. I know. I know that one. That one was too easy. Let's uh, let's move on. A little a little tougher one here. I drive an Aqua Nissan pickup with the cab lowered so it scrapes the road. My peer group has convinced me that altering my vehicle radically will make me seem really cool. I drive a DeLorean. The Batmobile wasn't available. I drive a converted hearse. I'm a fry cook who plays drums in a band on weekends. I drive a 68 Z28, got a 454 with a hearse on the floor, and I can beat anyone off the line. I'm very concerned about the size of my fingers. Another easy one, I know. Yeah, another, I know, that one was too easy, too, I know. 